If you have F-Droid installed, then you've likely seen this warning the first time you opened it. I would just tap OK, continue on my way, and not look into it any further. Until I started seeing some tweets and articles about issues with F-Droid. For reference, the information I'm discussing today came from this article, which I'll be discussing a little bit more in depth in the future, and I will also link it down below if you're interested in reading it. So the initial issue with F-Droid lies with the SDK that it uses. SDK stands for Software Development Kit, and it's a collection of software used to build apps on a platform. The Android SDK is comprised of different API versions, and a higher API level means you can make use of more modern features. Each new version brings privacy and security improvements. API level 31 means that you can make use of all modern features available on Android 12. Now that brings us back to F-Droid, which targets API level 25, which was built for Android 7.1, and why you see that warning when you initially open it. Did you ever wonder why F-Droid doesn't support auto-updates? It's because they use an API level that's almost six years old and they can't make use of all the modern features of Android 12. Luckily, there's an app called Droidify that makes use of newer API versions, which allows for more automated updates. Seamless automatic updates will be available in the next release, security and privacy improvements, and they also have a clean looking UI that makes use of the material theme, which I know some of you really like, so this is for you. While there are other issues with the F-Droid repository, I'll be covering that in a future video. So if you already have F-Droid installed, which I'm assuming you do, go ahead and select F-Droid, select the green search button, type in Droidify, select that, press install, install. Once that finishes, can wait for it to show up on our home screen, select Droidify. Now the first thing you'll notice is that there's no warning that this was built for an older version of Android. The second thing you'll notice is the beautiful material themed UI. You're also going to notice when using the app that repositories sync much quicker than they did in F-Droid, which is another great time saving feature. And so once the repository has finished syncing, you'll start seeing all the apps show up. Androidify will know which apps you have installed on your phone, so that'll take care of all the updates already. There's no need to reinstall the apps or anything like that. Another great feature it has is that it already has a list of third-party repositories you might want to use. So let's say that you use Bromite as your browser on your device. You can click the vertical three dots in the upper right-hand corner, select Repositories. We have a huge list here, but for the example, I'm just going to select Bromite. Once that finishes, click back. And you can now search for Bromite and you'll see that show up. The last thing you'll want to do is swipe up, go to wherever you have F-Droid installed, long press on it, click App Info, select Uninstall, click OK, and now you're good to go. So as I mentioned earlier, there are other issues with the F-Droid repository that I'll be discussing in a future video. And I'll also be demonstrating another method to download apps that you use without having to depend on F-Droid or Droidify.